Good morning, board. Today, we wanted to present the updates to the COVID protocol, which essentially is just updating the masking and the current um, quarantining and isolation guidelines. In addition, we added an easy to follow table that outlines when you need to quarantine and when you need to isolate. And that is really the updates for the most part. Thank you. Thank you. Supervisor Sabatier. Uh, there was one part that seems strange to me and I'm, I'm guessing that most of this is verbatim coming from Cal OSHA and, and other uh, resources that are providing uh, direction for us. But on page eight of the protocol, it says the employee must submit a positive PCR test taken within 14 days of work exposure to receive workers' compensation benefits. That 14 yes. days just seems, in my opinion, and I, uh, again, if it comes directly from Cal OSHA, that's, uh, it is what it is, but that seems like a very long time period um, or continuously getting a positive test after the fact when 10 days later you're able to come back to work. Uh, it just, that doesn't make sense that you could still take a test after you're good to come back to work, but still could take a test that could get you workers' comp. Like that, that, this, that, that's confusing to me. This is the workers' comp requirement, and this information was uh, provided to me by risk management. In order to qualify for workers' comp, they must have a positive PCR test. It can't just be the home test. So basically, if somebody test positive with our rapid test, they must seek a PCR test to qualify for workers' comp. That's just explaining that process because a lot of our employees did not know that, so I included it in the protocol. All right. Well, it, to, to me, I just wanted to at least uh, um, express the confusion of the timelines where people can come back. We know it takes about two to three, maybe four days max now that we're not in a surge uh, to get our PCR test results. And to be able to go back to work, test yourself afterwards, test positive, and then get workers' comp for a previous time that you took off just seems... Seems strange to me, but it, it is what it is. It's coming from up above, so I'm, I'm ready and willing to move forward on that. All right. Any other board uh, comments? Not seeing any. I'll open it up to the public. Anybody in the chambers have anything to add to that? Not seeing anybody, and then I see we have somebody online. Carlos Bono, if you can uh, unmute. You have three minutes to uh, add your public input. I'd like to know, uh, hi, this is Carlos Bono. I'd like to know why the uh, PCR test is continuing to be used when the CDC uh, revoked its emergency use authorization for the test as of December 31st, 2021. Why is this test being continually, why, why are you still using this test in Lake County? And why hasn't another test been, you know, why haven't you started using another test? That's all I have for now. If you could please answer my question. Thank you. Um, Can someone answer the question? Yeah, someone is. I'm just waiting for you to hold on a second. Um, Pam, do you have an answer for that? or? I don't have a direct answer for that, except for um, this is what is required by our insurance company to validate um, COVID and get workers comp. Um, and then um, this is, uh, you know, what is the OSHA standard. So um, I haven't been instructed to discontinue the use of that. In addition, um, to seek the supplemental paid leave, um, the additional 40 hours, that's a requirement to get that leave. So, um, and that is um, what was just signed into regulation effective um, last month by the governor. So right now that's what we're legally required to do. Um, so we'll continue to use them as indicated. Thank you, Pam, for, exp for explaining that and answering that. And um, 
Supervisor Sabatier. And it's very simple to do a Google search and go to cdc.gov and find a question that says, does the retirement of this test apply to all PCR-based tests for SARS-CoV-2 tests? And the answer is no, the discontinuation of emergency youth authorization only applies to a very specific PCR diagnostic panel test. It does not affect any other SARS-CoV-2 test that have received EUA from the FDA. So the remark is based on a very narrow uh, topic of what has been discontinued continued, but there is still continued use of PCR tests. And I'm just going to go a little bit further because of the research that I've done. It's because there's new PCR tests that can simultaneously tell you if you have COVID or a cold or a flu before it was just COVID or not. And now we have new tests that can look into more than just one illness in order to be able to differentiate between. The other one was not confused if you had the flu or the COVID, it just said yes or no for COVID and that's it. Uh, so I think there's been a lot of misinformation or misunderstanding as to what this process has been and it's due to the fact that there has been a lot of changes coming from CDC and part of the uh, processes that we've had to follow. So I think it's just, it is confusing uh, to keep track of everything that's happening, but it is available on the CDC website and it does explain it very clearly. Thank you for that. Seeing if there's any other public input online, and I'm not seeing any, so we'll bring it back to the board. And let me see what we have. Oh, there is a public comment. Oh, okay. Um, if you'd like to come to the microphone. Uh... John Moss. I would like to know if our county is still in the red tier. No, I don't think we're in, it's the, in the green. What's, what, which one is it? I'm sorry. It's in the green. I checked. Yeah, it's it. the, in the green green tier. Joan, we're in the green tier. Okay. All right. And now we'll close public input and we'll bring it back to the board for action. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the amendment to the County Lake COVID-19 Public Health Emergency Worksite Protocol. Second. So I have a motion and a second. Can you please conduct the roll call, Johanna? Okay, Supervisor Simon? Yes. Supervisor Sabatier? Aye. Supervisor Scott? Aye. Supervisor Paiska? Yes. And Supervisor Crandall? Yes. Thank you. There we go.